Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 13. Now let's learn sectional form. So let's see what a section form is. Let's put this my point O and I have two vectors P and Q. And then this is my vector PQ, right? Now I can divide this internally with respect to point R. So if you see my this vector is divided internally. So QR is one section and RP is another section. Similarly, if I have again my vector P and vector Q and then I have vector PQ, I can divide this point externally also. Let R be a point. This is external to PQ vector. So I extended this. I can divide this thing externally also, right? So in that case, my QP will be one part and QR will be another part, right? You start here QR and RP, here also QR and RP, right? Here also QR by RP. In both cases, it is QR by RP. There are two sections, QR and RP. And that's what you see a particular vector in this case is divided internally. And in this case, externally, right? So similar to the line concept in line, we had learned that there used to be a line in which to divide the line externally and internally in the ratio m is to n. Similarly, here also we can divide one particular vector in ratio m into n externally and internally. So let's learn the internal thing. So we have again this vector p, vector q and let's draw this vector pq. Let's take a point r internally and let's divide this internally. So here we assume that RQ by PR is M is to N. Correct? That is the right here. RQ by PR vector, both are in the same direction, is M is to N. So in this case, my OR vector, which divides this line internally into ratio M is to N will be M into B vector this is my B vector and N into A vector, this is my A vector. So it is like this M into this vector, N into this vector by M plus N. That's how it is, the convention is. So let's prove this. I am told that M by N is RQ by PR. Correct. So we have to find RQ vector and PR vector. So RQ vector is this guy. So let's suppose this guy is R. Let's assume this is something we define is R vector actually. So in this triangle, if you see R vector plus RQ vector is equal to A vector. Correct? R vector plus this vector is going to be a vector or you can say that my rq vector is a vector minus r vector. Similarly, let's find pr vector. So in this triangle, if you see this triangle, if you see my b vector plus pr vector, this plus this is equal to r vector or I can say my pr vector is R vector minus B. So I got my equation 1 and equation 2. And this is my equation 3 letters. So using these three equations, my it says RQ by PR, that is A vector minus R vector by PR vector is R vector minus B vector is equal to M into M by N. Correct? This is what it says. So Let's solve this. So this becomes n a vector minus r vector into n is equal to m r vector minus b vector into m. Or you say r vector into m plus n is equal to m b vector plus n a vector. Or you get r vector as m b vector plus n a vector by m plus n. 
and that is my answer. Not that difficult. So I have this same thing in the line also if you see we have this line it divides into m into n ratio so you say m into this side by n into this side by m plus n. Similarly here also you say m into b vector by n into a vector by n plus n. Now let's see how is the formula when you divide this externally. So again we have this p vector, we have q vector and we have this r point that is outside this uh, pq vector and we divide this line or vector pq externally in the ratio m is to n. That means I have pr, pr by qp, pr by rq actually, qr you can say is m is to n. That is, I'll show you, this guy is, if m minus this guy is, and correct from here you go to R then from R you go to Q M is to N. In this case my OR vector this is R actually this is the R vector right this is my R vector so this OR is M B vector minus N A vector so this guy will become A and this guy will become B actually. M B A vector, sorry, M into B vector, correct, M into B vector, N into A vector, right, by M minus A. So to prove this, what we can do is, we have PR by QR. So let's find PR vector and QR vector. So PR vector here is this vector, right? So this vector, if you see A vector plus PR vector is equal to R vector. If you see here, A vector plus PR vector, tail and head matching here, plus PR vector is equal to R vector. Or from this I get, my PR vector is equal to R vector minus A vector. This I form. Next is QR vector. So B vector plus QR vector is equal to R vector. B vector plus QR vector is equal to R vector. Or I get QR vector is nothing but R vector minus B vector. Correct? So I am told that PR by QR is PR by QR is M is to N. Correct? The magnitude actually. So this becomes R vector minus A vector by R vector minus B vector is equal to M by N. You solve this now, you get N R vector minus N A vector is equal to m r vector minus m b vector. Correct. r vector common m minus n is equal to m b vector minus n a vector. Or you get r vector as m b vector minus n a vector by m minus n. And that is my answer. Easy to prove, nothing great here. So I just use the same formulas. I I knew PR by QR is M by N. I found this PR vector. I found QR vector. I divided this and I got that. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.